What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Sal. You are watching Fully Charged here on Team Fortress TV. And frankly, I'm surprised I just managed to even say that correctly because I have not had a lot of sleep um, and personal issues. I've, I made a post about it on Team Fortress TV. If you're really yeah. interested, it was it was it was titled rather <laughs> rather uh, angrily. See, Bear, I'm gonna let you take it away, man. That's nightmare territory there. Like, oh, is this a bed bug? That's not good. No. I don't even know like what no. I would do. I would just open my windows and let everything freeze because I it's like negative a million outside, like it always it's, is. It's like seventy degrees here in Houston. And you live in a nice place where yeah. it's not frigidly cold. But yeah. yeah. So you're not doing well, Sal. I'd ask how you're doing, but um, no. you said you've gotten what one hour of sleep in the last thirty six. Is that, that right? That is correct. I counted. It's like you're it's like you're pulling an all nighter back in college, man. You're a kid again. Yeah, except that instead of like, you know, drinking <laughs> Cokes and playing video games, I was um, drinking water and washing my bed sheets over and over again. Now, when, you, when I got on, you told me that you took a nap. Were you sleeping in your chair that you're yeah, in right like now? Like right here, just like, you know, feet up on the desk, like, I don't want to touch my bed. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was really bad. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so we're, we're fully charged, Sea Bear. We're talking about TF2 here, not about Sal's personal failings as a... It turns out cleanliness has no bearing on these stupid bugs. So if you go to South America, be careful. Leave yeah, your luggage well, there. If you go anywhere, like any hotel ever, just make sure you elevate your luggage and check under the beds. And there's, there's like, just look it up. If you look it up, you'll, you'll feel safer. I promise. Okay. Well, we are not only talking TF2 today, guys. We're talking Euro TF2, which is something we really haven't touched on in Fully Charged. But we're like the all-encompassing TF2 show. Um, and I thought, why, why haven't we done this yet? And then the answer is because it's really frickin' late where they are. But we have two brave uh, nerds who are going to join us for the show. Um, I'll introduce Byte first. Um, both of them don't have webcams, which sucks. But yeah. Byte is the British guy and Darn is the Finnish guy. You will tell the difference when you hear them talk. But let's start with Byte. How are you doing uh, very late tonight? It's what, 1.02 there now? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, hi, how you doing? <laughs> You guys might have seen Byte on the i46 um, stream if you tuned into that. He was the, the dude handing out yeah. shirts and doing stuff and uh, had fun there. And then um, I love Darn's picture. It is so good. Darn is the opposite of sober in this picture. But, uh, how are you doing, Darn? Yeah, pretty fine, considering <laughs> it's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m.? <laughs> yep. Oh, man. That's so good. I asked DJC, who's like my, my liaison to the European TF2 community, I'm like, just find me somebody that can talk, that's funny, or has any personality who's willing to stay up. And then he finds the Finnish guy with 3 a.m. there. And I'm guessing you've had, <laughs> you've had at best. least one drink, so that's, that's fine. He found the best. He did. Uh, he's, Darn is the man. Uh, yeah. I was sharing this with Seabear, but, uh, but Darn, you're going to feature in that I-46 documentary. And that's, in fact... Oh, um, <laughs> The, the, first, way, so. the first time you're, you're, you're pointed out in this documentary from, from the LAN is uh, when we're talking about why your team had to pause for like 45 minutes. So like the very first introduction to this whole thing is like we show the pause and then we fl flip over to you going, well, I was quite drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that is why we lost. <laughs> and they were not drunk. The Americans took it very seriously. They won. Was that like... I was going to save this for later. I guess we could, we're already talking I-46, so it was like a great success from an overall TF2 perspective. Yeah. But um, you guys, I mean, was there some, I mean, there had to have been disappointment from your Euro scene. Did you expect that to happen? I talked to a few guys who were like, well, yeah, I mean, we're not playing as much as they are. They came in and they were informed and we weren't. Was that kind of how you guys felt? Like it was more fun for you and they took it very seriously or what? Well, to be fair, guess what? I think we had like the worst European teams at the time, since yeah. none of us had been playing at all. And uh, as usual, I series have been quite drinking heavy <laughs> and less gaming, at right. least most of us, and la at least for me, man. So I don't, I don't think that European teams could have beaten the Yankee Doodles, but um, Probably could have gotten even a round or something on the yeah. board if they yeah, take taken a map. Yeah, maybe. But it's cool. it's in the past. Yeah, we were going to talk a little bit about I forty nine and if that's going to happen, if money bag Sal is going to crack out the old checkbook again for cool. everybody. Nope, not going to happen. Okay, well it's, then it's, uh, it's got to be the sponsors. It's got to be the sponsors, <laughs> man. 
to start your own like Sal sponsoring firm. But Byte, you were also I forty six. I said you were doing the the finals. You were on the camera, but you also played. You're on uh, TCM. I think you guys were what out the round of four. Um, yeah, I think right? we ended. I think we ended fourth. Um, we lost to LG, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, started off really well, but um, they just brought it back. We had a couple of pausing issues because I crashed and so on. We just lost the momentum, but that wasn't the main reason. I think they just were the better team. Um, took their job very seriously and smashed us. So took us in two maps. So yeah, no, they played very well. Was it? I have no idea how you lost, by the way, since your pieces were basically rocket ships. <laughs> You could have gone yeah. into the fucking moon with those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the difference was my PC wasn't. Uh, my, it was my own PC I brought, so that's why. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's why mine crashed. <laughs> that, that's a dumb idea, man. So we talked a, a, about how it was like playing the Euro team. So some of the Americans that have been on the show before, but mm -hmm. for your guys' perspective, was it that much different playing against LG and Mixup? Um, I don't know if you fight if you, you scrimmed both teams or if you only played LG. But um, I think I think it, some of it was when like we were playing against the unknown. If that makes any sense, because because of um, I, I think the American like TF2 players have much more diversity and are much more open-minded in how to play, mm -hmm. especially on rollouts, especially um, on any map. And it was going sort of into the unknown of how good are their soldiers and their scouts. Um, and obviously it proved very, very difficult with how good the soldiers were and how good the scouts were, so to speak. So you know, there was an element of expectation, but there was also an element of, no, of unknown because that unknown was something that we're not used to, if you know what I mean, because obviously mm -hmm. day in, day out, we just play EU teams with the same sort of meta. But with the Americans, it's slightly different, and obviously uh, it pays off. So, yeah. so w with that meta, a lot of the American meta, of course, is based around the use of unlocks, which... Are, are mm -hmm. now making yeah, their way buddy. into ETF2L. Um, I, I know there's been a debate about that in Europe for a long time. Did I-46 and, and the performance of the American teams actually influence that debate? Like, oh, look, they use unlocks and they're still good. Well, well hold on. Before you answer that, I want to, because I think it's news to some people. So what unlocks, it's not the same, Sal. I don't think they have all of the ones that we use, but you do have like a handful. And mm -hmm. some of the ones that were gunboats and equalizer or whatever it's yeah. called, escape plan. Um, we want to run down what unlocks are actually you guys use and, and maybe how those have affected the gameplay and answer Sal's awesome question. <laughs> I, I don't remember what it was anymore. I don't, <laughs> I'm sorry, Sal. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the unlocks, the five new unlocks that we have, so to speak, um, uh, is the escape, uh, the escape plan, but I just call it the equalizer because that's what we all know it as. Um, Better the overdose, the overdose as well for the medic, uh, the Boston Basher, oh. uh, the pain train, and arguably, probably the best unlock. Uh, I say the best, as in the most controversial one, but the gunboats, as well. Um, so, are you are you pro gunboats? Is that I've seen a lot of people complain about them. Um, just some of the Euro streams I've seen. Um, what's the general opinion, and what's your opinion on it? Um, I've seen. Yeah, no, I'm. I, what you said is true. There's there's some people saying that gunboats is if it's you know if. If it's a good soldier and he knows how to use it, then it's, it is very, very lethal because, um, you know, it can cause a distraction. But at the same time, if you're good with your rocket launcher terrain, then it can create create quite um, amount, a big amount of damage. Um, in terms of me, uh, my ruling was as I don't mind gunboats as long as the escape plan is not allowed or vice versa. Mm -hmm. So I didn't yeah. want just because I didn't want a massive upgrade for the soldier because it's ridiculous now how much of an upgrade it, it has. So. Well, uh, okay. Well, darn. Particularly demo. Uh, so. I, yeah, I, you're, I, you're I, demo I, medic, darn. You, you have you used it or you, your shotgun still? I mean, I'm a shotgun guy. I don't, I don't like gunboats. I don't play, but you're a prem soldier still. Um, have you started using gunboats? I don't know if you play pocket or roamer. I'm an idiot. Uh, but. Well, I haven't used shotgun since they introduced the gunboats, but uh, I really don't see the difference, hmm. and they haven't even really changed the meta in Europe. Okay. At all. Hmm. I mean, it really isn't that much more faster. And, well, so you uh, still bomb at the same times and you still yeah, 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 yeah. have Pretty the, much same, the escape same capability? Except, like, once or twice the soldier survives who bombs in. That's like the only exception. Mm -hmm. That's not a word. Uh, exception. Uh, You're you know, close. Was, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We all knew what you meant, man. You're good. Very good Americans. Very good. <laughs> so you haven't you haven't experimented with the Harbalu style of mid fight where you jump in only with the only goal to jump immediately away and do run around get health packs you and just be a distraction. You can't start experimenting with the hard drugs first, man. That's but that's sort of like I mean okay well maybe maybe you know it takes a while for the roamers to kind of figure out just how um, lame I don't want to say lame but how how exploitive that combo can be. Yeah. I mean you can jump around and just scoot around and. And that, you, know. you, you haven't seen that much. It's still kind of they just they use the, they use it. Maybe they get to mid quicker with them or whatever, but they don't. Yeah, I know what you do that mean. crazy flanky just trap. Jump, jump around and cause a distraction. You don't do that. Yeah. Well, of course, like <laughs> who wouldn't do that with those fucking gun boats? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I I really don't think they have changed the game that much. Yeah, and um, in the beginning. When there were the debate on unlocks or no unlocks on Europe, my stance was that uh, I rather have like all of them or none at all. And uh, most of the teams back then wanted none of them. So, but yeah, no difference at least for me. Still shit. So n <laughs> not a big okay, show. <laughs> well, I think a lot was made. I remember when I heard about it, I was like, really? Okay, well, they're going to hate the gunboats, but um, I, think I think once you just play it, yeah, it's, it's not as bad. I think it's a matter of time till one good guy, one good soldier, really, really good soldier, exploits the gunboats really, really well, and then people are going to copy it. I really do. Um, and well, it wouldn't be hard for them to just look at demos of American roamers. I mean, take Wonderwall, uh, take Relic, take uh, you know anybody who's good at jumping and getting to places where they shouldn't be. Mackie. Hell, I know. I've seen it. That's why, and that's why I'm really worried. But obviously, there's no there's no soldier at the moment because it's the first season we've had these unlocks properly. So yeah. obviously, everyone's just trying to feed off each other, learn off each other, thinking, yeah, how's this soldier doing with combos? What's he doing? Blah blah blah. But I think uh, it's only a matter of time till one one guy does it, and then it'll be like, oh my god, look at this guy, and a thousand people try to do it. You know. A and soldiers try to do it so um, it's a bit like you know the whole thing with Mike you know MGE Mike everyone starts going on an MGE now to improve their DM so much because they look at Mike and think wow how has he reached where he has and so on and so forth so I, I think <laughs> Man, <laughs> I think it's a matter of time it's the MGE <laughs> generation man alright Seabear were you, were you trying to change gears there I'm sorry no, I wasn't, Mr. No. Tired Pants. Well, we have a thread up on Team Fortress TV where there are questions that have been asked and stuff, and I'm kind of going through them. Um, somebody already wanted to know about the, the gunboats, and um, I, I guess we can modify the question. Are, are, Byte, are you a fan of the changes with the, the unlocks? I mean, you were, I think, a proponent of the vanilla play style back when the discussion was before, should we have unlocks or not? Um, have you changed your mind about that, or are you, are you, are you no, happy no, with I'm, the unlocks? I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the unlocks. Um, I'm I'm happy if it if it upgrades the meta. Um, so most of them, the three of them, upgrades meta really. One of them is an upgrade already. Like the gumbos is is an expansion of the kamikaze soldier or distraction, so to speak. But then you've got Boston Basher, which means now obviously you can build Ubers and have more sort of fights, yeah. which which is great to see. Um, and then the pain train. Oh, I love it as a demo man. It's yeah. so it's so Imba, but I love it personally because <laughs> it's uh, it's you know it's a demo man's thing really because he can secure a territory and cap at the speed of a scout. So yeah, it's great. So I and I'm I'm a fan of it personally. So so where are we right now in the Euro scene? Um, I know very little because I'm an idiot, like I said before. But um, you guys have what one major league, sort of like we do with ESCA. It's it's the what yeah. ETF two L. So yeah. Um, what where are we right now? Is the season just started, or, or what? Because um, I, I think yeah, I saw they, like the play in to get into prem, um, casting on vanilla like maybe a couple weeks ago. Maybe I don't. Yeah, that was the first week of January. Um, okay. It started like three to four weeks ago. The season, so um, it's you know season fourteen at ETF two L. So uh, yeah, it's almost halfway, not fully halfway. So some prem teams. There's a big game on tomorrow. Uh, Broder versus um, Epsilon. That's going to be a huge one as well to watch. Does Jordan still like, play for Broder? No, no. He, he he's the he's the he's the mascot. He's the, he's the one that leads okay. the leads the team in spirit. <laughs> so wait a minute. But Rib is on that team, right? Isn't that isn't that mm -hmm. Rib's team? That's right. Yeah. For all you who don't Dan's, know, Dan's Rib friend. is. 
Darn's former teammate on Dignitas. He's wearing the Dignitas jersey in that in that sober picture. Um, Rib was like Banny before Banny back in in EU. He was amazing. Um, so actually, when I heard that he was back, I didn't know that. I was like, oh, sweet, that's great. So, um, but Darn, you're the best demo. Yes. So, well, you know, maybe he wants to take on Banny. Maybe that's that's why he's back in the game now. He's like, I know, I know, I've got to prove once again. <laughs> Well, I've heard from people that he's not as dominant compared to the rest as he used to be. He's still a prem level demo, which is like invite level for us. Prem is, um, but maybe not, um, you know, still the best or whatever. I don't know. I've, I've, I've heard that from other demos, so I don't know if that's true or not. But um, it's cool to see him back. Um, so where are the top teams right now? Um, lay it out there for us. Who's the? Is there one? Is there an LG? Or, I'm sorry. Is there a a, a BP a or, or a, a mix BP, up yeah. or or how is it like? Because right now we're very top heavy and we all seemingly always are in, in in North America. One or two teams that are just head and tails above everybody else, head I and shoulders above everybody else. That's like a, a proper season for once in EDF too well. It's hard to pinpoint one team. I mean, obviously Epsilon is still the favorite to win it all since no one has really seen broader play at all. But uh, I think there are four proper teams, like BFF, Crack Clan, Epsilon and Broder, and uh, all of them could potentially take it. What team so, are you on, Darn? Are you on one of those uh, teams? No, no, no. I, I play with the Donkey Boys, whatever <laughs> they're called, Spanish <laughs> Is there is their team name actually Donkey Boys or is it, are you being no silly? no 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 okay. they are from Spain or Portuguese thus they use donkeys for their PCs <laughs> since they don't have electricity or mm, something like ah. that <laughs> ah. and they ride donkeys to work and okay. yeah 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 that thing all right and fight I, I you've been prem forever I don't know if you're active right now or not. No, I'm uh, busy helping Elemental Violence at the moment in Div 1 as okay. a demo man. I'm hoping to get them in Prem for next season. Were they not so. in Prem at some point? No, they've ago? never been no? in Prem. Hmm. Okay. No, no. They were in Division 1 last season, I think. Um, it didn't work out for them with some roster changes, so I'm just there to help them for this just this season. Um, hopefully get uh, the scouts up to speed um, and help War out. So, yeah, it's going well. So. Well, Darn, we got a we got a question from the stream chat. Actually, why did you leave BFF? Well, I didn't really leave BFF. So, uh, but um, eh? <laughs> I, I I was I, I'm trying to find the right words for this, but um, I think it was for the best since I'm not that great at the game at the moment, but um. I still enjoy it, and they thought they needed an upgrade. And, uh, well, I don't think they got an upgrade, but uh, <laughs> the Ooh. team is doing better. <laughs> okay, well, and you know what? We, it, I, I, I didn't know the story, so I feel bad for asking. But we actually no, 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 do... Um... I, I said before we started this that anything goes. Yeah. Well, we, do, we, have a, we have a bit of a similar situation over here with Fully Torqued, right? Um, with, with, you know, Lang left the team. Um, I think on, on his end it was like he left because he didn't... Am, am I right, Seabear? He, he, Lang so, left the team. Can, he was like, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, well, that, that was... Ha yeah, I mean... Did you guys hear that, by the way, Sal? Did you hear that? You were talking. I don't think you guys heard that. But my crazy neighbor is screaming up a storm. Ooh. Like, like blood-curdling scream at her kid, so... I don't know if anyone can hear that. If you, extra points if you heard my crazy neighbor. They have no idea. Our guests have no idea what I'm talking no, about. Quiet, guys. Like, let's, let's just all of our casts that I've been in the last two weeks, my neighbor's been pounding on my wall, and I just heard her scream. It was really crazy. Um, yeah. Maybe she hasn't been pounding Bring at him you. On. She's just oh, been like her. putting the kid up against the wall. It sounds like yeah. It sounds like she's like doing things to him. That was pretty funny. Um, okay. Could, so uh, hey, hey, I could charm her with my famous yeah? accent. Just. Bring She's her an on. alcoholic, so you could probably go drink, drink with her. And <laughs> oh, oh, we've got something in common. <laughs> no, I didn't. Dang it, I didn't mean that. But and <laughs> this, this is the uh, this is the <sighs> show where you learn exactly how not to act in social situations. Fully charged, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, <laughs> I love. They want me to go save the kid. Uh, hey, I can't go over there, man. She's probably got a gun. <laughs> She'll put a cigarette out on oh, me. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, just, just, yeah. Hold still for a second. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm, I've gotten, there's like some 
some drama, I guess, that's gone down lately. Yeah, since, since we're, we're being tactless, let's get into that too, right? No, no, I'm not being tactless. I'm just bringing it up. And, um, yeah, Sea Bear has... Uh, oh, um, for all you don't know, Vanilla... Hello? Am I oh, back? Right. Yeah, lag? Yeah, you're back. You're back. Okay. That's a good time to lag when I'm introducing the next topic. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Vanilla TV has been around... For, how long has Vanilla been around for? Quite a while now, right? Two years, maybe? It's two years? Almost. Yeah, almost okay. two years. And they're the major casting group in, um, in Europe, EU. Yeah. And Darn, <laughs> I didn't know this, but Darn, apparently Darn was the one who came up with the idea of, of Vanilla TF2. I didn't know this, but um, now Byte is, um, well, Byte, you've been, um, I don't know, are you like their leader, like in charge, or you're one of the uh, major uh, figures there? Toden's still the owner and okay. sort of the head of Vanilla TF2. Um, I just look after it for him while he's away because he's busy with real life work and stuff. Um, uh, but I'm in charge of uh, Vanilla TV. Uh, which is linked to Vanilla TF2. So, what, is it, what does it mean to be in charge of Vanilla TV? Uh, <laughs> a lot uh, of headache, effort, stress. Um, uh, it's just management of people because you get like, you have, uh, at the moment we have like 25 staff and if you think about it, it's 25 in one room with 25 different personalities from different cultures is like a headache for me because I have to try and make sure that no one you know, it gets out of hand or, or, you know, upsets someone radically and so on and so forth. So there's, there's a lot to it, to be honest, um, uh, other than just having to show casts for people and organize and satisfy the community. And so to speak, there's a lot of internal stuff that has to be done. Plans for that's, land as well. So yeah, That's a resume builder right there, man. I managed 25 gamers on volunteer time. You know, people will look at that and be like, next CEO material right here, man, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough, man. Um, okay, so where is the central hub for EOTF2? Like, we all go to Team Fortress TV, that TV, when we want to, you know, the forums and stuff. Is there a central hub? Is it still ETF2L, the site, or is it, is it the vanilla site? No, it's is still the vanilla TF2 site mainly. Okay. Well, that's no, that's okay. more like articles, it's right? ETF, ETF2L, ETF2L is the site where you oh, so. discuss about shit. And vanilla is for articles and streaming, yeah. etc. Okay. So my question to you guys would be: um, We've talked at length on this show about growing TF2 and how that that can be accomplished. And one of the, the central ideas that everyone has sort of brought up is centralizing um, everyone, all the scenes into as, as central a place as possible. Is there has there ever been any thought of I'm not moving the, the the European TF2 community, but maybe trying to trying to find some synergy between TFTV, the site, and the casting group and stuff, and the vanilla people, and like trying to get them to work together more towards um, maybe some sort of common ground, or is that just because it's it's so different between the time zones and the the scene itself? Is it just not possible? I think it it would be excellent to do that, okay. but uh, in the end, uh, it probably wouldn't help TF2 seen it to grow more. No, you don't think so? Uh, no, uh, that's really only like the only option to have is just put in money and have more tournaments so mm -hmm. all the noobs are gonna watch it. But uh, I've been thinking, well, actually it was Shinta's guy from UK mm -hmm. and uh, he had this gambling idea in TF2 with all the items and scrap metal and stuff with that. I think that would be a good idea to have like proper gambling on all the big. Uh, <laughs> like someone EDF. lays odds for TF2 matches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something <laughs> like that. I, I think like all the public dudes would enjoy that. I would. That, I would bet that, on that. that would, well, I yeah, guarantee that. you, <laughs> you, you guys aren't the only people who'd bet on those matches because the players yeah. would bet on their own matches and then yeah, you have people throwing throw games. Up, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You, you end up having like BP versus mix up in the court, you know, the grand finals, yep. and like they're everyone's like, what are they doing? They're not even going to mid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they, someone pays off Banny to throw the game. Best he's he's like pretending to he's pretending to not do his rollouts correctly, and even then he still is like to mid in like ten seconds on gully wash, and you're like, <laughs> this is yeah, a great idea. They get happen. Probably bring in loads of people at least to watch the games. Yeah. 
Okay, so I want to I want to get Byte's opinion on what I said before about centralizing. Has there been any talks at all between TFTV, maybe Enigma, and you guys at Vanilla to try to maybe get some more? Because when we did our first land cast back in this last land, we used the Vanilla asset, so you guys were a big help to us then. But then we we really haven't um, had any any um, cohesion between the two sides. Is there something that might happen in the future, or is that just not really an option? Um. There's nothing ever impossible, so to speak. Um, like with how it was dealt with, unfortunately, it wasn't the best way because I didn't have knowledge of it. It was it was practically organised by Skyride and Comedian, who spoke to I think DJC and Enigma at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, to get the Vanilla TV assets because the land was so close. If you know, I think it was on a Thursday they were speaking to them <laughs> on Wednesday, so right. they needed the assets. Um, and the decision was just too quick for me. You know, it's it's not like a small thing. It's not like something that can just happen overnight. And um, I wanted to speak to uh, my good friend Xtine as well because obviously at that time there was a lot of uh, what's the word I'm looking for <laughs> uh, shenanigans happening probably with the fact that they left him. I saw his, I suppose say. Um, so obviously I wanted to speak with him, check what the lowdown was. Um, and it was all done sort of underneath my nose, which is not the Vanilla TV way internally anyway, because right. the, the way Vanilla TV works, and every, I'm pretty sure all my staff, current, current staff as it were, would vouch by this, is the fact that anything that comes up, I always discuss with them and get their opinion, and we do uh, a vote you know, to agree, you know, to see if we, should ha if we should go ahead and proceed with this or not. And obviously, I haven't, I haven't even had time to sort of digest this whole situation that we had. Right. Um, so obviously when it came to land, we said, fine, you know what, if they want to do that, they can use these assets and then we'll discuss after. But then a week after, I get told by Comedian and Skyride that they're going to think about it and see what they want to do. And <laughs> so that, that was my point of, of the fear. Of, personally, I thought what was going to happen is like, are they really going to join us? I don't think so. It's like, surely they're going to think twice. Um, uh, so at that stage, I just left it at that because I didn't want to create any more commotion. They right. got what they want. They got what they wanted. So I left it at that. Yeah, I'm um, actually people in chat are saying, well, why are you asking questions to know the answer to? Um, a lot of this, like the talking that Byte was talking about between his side and our side, that I didn't really have any say in. I was just kind of the casting talent that was going to be doing it. Like I was like, okay, we're, we're doing this. We have these assets, whatever. Um, there is, like, I, when I kicked this off, I said there was some drama. So on, um, what, I guess ETF this is the, the ETF2L site, Skyride, who has been a contact that I've had into the European scene. Hey, it's my phone. Hi. <laughs> um, <laughs> he wrote a kind of a goodbye letter where he touched on things. And I'm not familiar with a lot of this, but yeah. one thing, Sal, I don't know if you, if you have anything to add before. I mean, I've been been talking for a while but I'm actually I'm looking at it right now if someone wants to post a link to this um, so is, is there anything in here you want to address Byte because it seems like um, it's at least at least semi pointed at you with some of the comments of how Vanilla has been run and, and his frustration yeah Skyride yeah. and Comedian in particular were I'm sorry to, to butt in but Skyride yeah. and Comedian um, were very much of the opinion that they were trying to run things and sometimes trying to run things without you yeah, which is the thing that annoys me because at the end of the day, Totem put me in charge for a reason. Like, there, there is a reason. A lot of people don't like it, but there is a reason, and it still goes strong. Well, what so reason is that? Oh, I suppose you'll have to ask him because I don't want to say the, the stuff that he tells me because it would sound very egocentric. Oh. So I'm not going to say. Fight, but... fight, man. Well, you I mean, there's a difference all, all between. Authority. You need authority. Yeah. To run you, you're not. You're not. You're not like you know trumpeting yourself here. You're just saying, look, no, here's, know, here's my but, job but, description. Here's why I fit for it. Is, there's a lot of things that people won't take into consideration of running such a huge thing. Um, and yeah, okay, fine. One of them is authority. Everyone knows I'm quite disciplined and quite strict, which is probably why quite a few, you know, don't agree just with me. Drink, man. You should drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer to everything. Just drink. But it's uh, a good answer, man. But it's not also that. It's, it's also to do with uh, loyalty and a good sense of judgment and knowing what everyone's personality is and what they can do with their best assets. And Torden believes I can do that. So, um, and, I, well, I don't know. It depends up to, uh, up to my staff what they think. <laughs> At the end of the day, I can't speak for them. So he put me in charge, and I was like, no one can do anything without it going through me at the end of the day, okay? If you want to do something on by yourself, don't put your name, Vanilla TV, on it do it by under whatever your name is because mm -hmm. I don't want to be representing that if it's nothing to do with me especially if I don't have any knowledge of it 
pretty right. much. So, yeah, and no, I mean, going back to your original question, Siba, um, I mean, Skyride, his effort and work rate is insane. Like, yeah. he, he really does put a lot, of, a lot of effort in, and he's, he's one of those guys that when someone asks him to do something, he'll, he does it, and he does it better, which is really good to see, because there's not many like him in the community. Um, you know, yeah, he so, did, I not, mean, in I-46, he did an excellent job of, of yeah, no, he, everything he, there. Yeah, he, no, he, he worked his butt off you know, so I like full credit to him and credit where it's there are obviously there's obviously two sides to everything. There's pros and cons to every person and, and his pros was he was very um, intuitive and could and innovative as well and could do the work so at a very quick level as well. Just like comedian to be fair as well. Okay. Um but then there's the other side of things which I don't agree with, with how they handle it, which is the management side and people liaising, so to speak. You know, um, and they can they can do that to a suffice level, but in my opinion, there's a certain way of doing things. And for example, this whole thing, the way it was rushed with, you know, TFTV, was the wrong way to do it because, you know, Vanilla TV are friends with uh, XTV and Xtine, and how it all separated with the fact that TFTV had uh, abandoned or left XTV, if you know what I mean, and did their own thing. Um, and then us just taking them straight away. I didn't, you know, it's not, it's not right way in my opinion. So uh, that's cool. why it's, that's right, why it's but, a lot of grief. Okay, but um, well, we don't, I mean, there's no need to get into an argument about why it was done. But um, we wanted to integrate the casting straight through the website, which was sort of um, the end goal, which was try to centralize yeah. everything into TFTV. We thought, you know, I mean, there's nothing against EXTV, and the decision was made. We thought for the best of the game, you know, all of the, where we were all I, able to cast for TFTV in that, in that general, like, website thing and drive through that, the centralization was our, our number one concern, I guess. I mean, yeah, I mean, in terms of TFT TV guys, between them and X, XTV, it's like, it's, to be honest, it's not, none of my concern and not my problem, and, you know, that's fine, whatever you, those guys wanted to do and picture it, it sort of in the future is great, you know, if they've got, like, right. a vision where it's the general hub for the world of TF2, then why not you know that's that's got nothing to do with me but when you know it came to that sort of section where we had to come in it was sort of like mm, you know because i you know i was no time to discuss anything literally it was thursday and then friday was the esea straight away so um do you stand by the decision as of right now i mean um which, sorry, I was which asking decision? well we're asking about the cohesion between the two sides um do you feel like that more that just reading this, and, and like I, I actually wasn't involved in these discussions. Like it was not, I had no say in this at all. But when we came to you guys looking for a, a casting platform, and we thought maybe we could join up with Vanilla and make Vanilla sort of the central casting hub for both scenes, North American and EU. Is that something that would have been would be now better for TF2 in general, or is that it better be the way done. it is? Like I, that I don't be done. even understand why there's a discussion about this. That should be done. Like pretty much tomorrow, get on it, Sal. Yes, yeah, Sal. Like I take everybody see. from from the TFTV site and put them on vanilla. Is that what you're saying? I don't care. Take everyone from vanilla to TFTV. Like okay, I, mean, I guess. Matter. I don't does know. I mean, really I guess matter. my question is what what, and I'm trying to answer without sounding like a complete asshole because I really am interested in the answer. But what right. is what is holding? What is stopping vanilla from just Joining TFTV, like I, I know that that's not going to happen. I'm not saying it, that it necessarily should, but what is preventing that from happening? So every time there's a TF2 cast of either of the major scenes, you go to TFTV and pff, there it is. Well, Maybe so doesn't like, someone we, likes power. What's someone yeah? Say, same power. question of TFTV, Fuck right? The man. Why, why didn't TFTV just join Vanilla? Why didn't you know you and DJC and Enigma and everybody else just set the up on Vanilla? Was... And... Yeah, the, uh, the offer was originally there, despite it being so rushed. We said we'd talk after a week, but then they didn't want to, so that was the end that's, of it. I, that's the case they said. We're, we're yeah, that's, just, that's why I was told by Skyrod and Comedian, like, that's 100% that's truth. So if it's because of me or if it's because of just other things, then fine. But, I mean, the offer was there. Okay. I can't, they, they can't deny it, so well, <laughs> like, I, there's nothing like, I can do. I'm not like I'm not putting on. I really have no real idea of these discussions when it comes to it. I just sort of say I'll I'll go with the flow as far as what the you know what's best for the game. I'll cast a game for anybody as long as it's run correctly. And I don't know. We'll go to T Vanilla TV, TFTV, whatever. But at this point, um, there's a question in the thread, and I wanted to ask about it. Why there's no 
um, link to Team Fortress TV. There's links to like everything else in North America. There's ComFT, there's EXTV and all this stuff, but there's, there's no Team Fortress TV. And I, I'm sure this isn't the case, but Davey C, our poster, wants to know if there's some grudge between you guys and Team Fortress TV. I haven't felt any, but... No, no I would more I, guess it's just like, oh, we forgot to put that on the website. Okay. <laughs> no, there's absolutely no... Like, I don't have any. I don't think Vanilla TV have any either. Like, I don't think any of our staff do. Genuinely, um, it just like, like it was overlooked. Uh, in terms of the website, we, we we need we need people from the community to contribute to the website because the last mm -hmm. person left like a year and a half ago. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it explains so why it, ComFT is still on there. It's, that's like yeah, that yeah. It's, so <laughs> it's that's literally no grudge. So I'm like 100% guarantee there's no grudge there. So again, that's you know, the offer is always there. So if it, you know, like Dan said, it should happen. I, well, he said it, it will happen. But I mean, it should and could happen easily if if people wanted to talk. Then great, I haven't got a problem with that at all. Like I, I say no reason why it shouldn't happen. No, no, I agree. Uh, I like, didn't. I, I didn't. I don't disagree with the. Well, there. The, I think there is a reason that you don't have the two connecting and, and just, you know, people putting aside their egos. And, and it's partly because you've got, you know, say, Torden, for instance, in charge of Vanilla, and you've got um, probably Enigma in charge of Team Fortress TV, and both yeah. of them probably have divergent ideas about, you know, visions about what they want the central sure. hub to look like. And there, it's not even just that. <laughs> yeah, I think there, that's a big deal, what it looks like. Wow. Well, <laughs> it is. I think maybe not what yeah. it looks like, but there is definitely a distinction between the styles, at least in the casting, <laughs> between Vanilla and what we do at, at Team Fortress TV. Um, now this is, I'm sure Byte will get mad because it's DJC, because I know, I obviously talk to him all the time and he used to cast for Vanilla, and there are quite a few um, maybe rules and, and restrictions about what we want or what they want their casters to do and say. Is that something, um, you guys try to be a lot more professional, I would say, than we do, right? I mean, isn't that kind of part of the mission of Vanilla TV to present TF2 very professionally? Yeah, and it's not just me. That's me and Torden, right. I believe, wanting to do that. Like, it's just how we, I suppose we are. I don't know. Like, we just we 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 just like that. I suppose. Um, I don't know. I didn't realize it was such a problem. But. Well, and it's a problem no, no. for me because I get comments every so often when I'm like going off on a random tangent in a cast. You know, people are like, "Dude, you need to be more professional about this." I'm like, "No, I don't." That's I don't. yeah. I mean, that there's a <laughs> and like I agree with Sal. I think. I mean, we, we, I think we toe the line between professional and fun, and we try to do so, like, we present the game, we try to get there on time, we don't swear, and generally aren't racist. Um, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's not uh, bring up our, our erstwhile cameraman <laughs> here. <laughs> That's so dumb. Um, we're only racist after 40 minutes of, uh, of no TF2, and <laughs> so they're like, what do we do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I was actually messaged um, by a couple people um, there have been a lot of casters and people, including Skyride and Greg, I guess, who I haven't seen cast. Um, Arc and Beta have left. DJC no longer cast. So is there some issue with, with maintaining casters for Vanilla? or what? Um, mm, I, I, well, I, it, as is, for Greg, I'm not sure what his sole reason is. Uh, the reason I've been, t I've been told is because he just can't be bothered with TF2, he's deflated and... And um, I don't know, maybe other issues. But as for Arcs and Beta, they're doing, they're basically saying to us, you know, we, we'll cast for Vanilla TV, but we also sometimes want to cast the same game that our casters, for example, because we have yeah. basically uh, a big pool, well, not a big pool, a, a pool of main casters, right? And sometimes it's not their go, but they want to cast that game as well because it's a big game. Yeah. So obviously, yeah. they want to show to the people outside that they can cast and, and deliver whatever quality they have, which is very good to be fair. So um, I said I said to them so I said to them at the end of the day, that's fine, no problem. You know, at the end of the day, if you we'll ask you if you're available to cast for the T V great. And they're happy with that. And me and me, Beta and Arcs have a have a great understanding to be honest with that. So there's no there's no trouble there between me, Arcs and Beta. Um as for Greg, I, I really don't know. I mean he is Completely, apparently he's completely deflated. I don't know if that's the main reason or if it's just a scapegoat reason. And obviously DJC is now busy with TF.TV. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. DJC's... And a million, a million and one other reasons as well. <laughs> I was so. going to say, there's a few other things. But, um, so, yeah. Admirable still so, casting, right? Well, that, that... Admiral, what, a, what a genius he is. Oh, he, he, seriously. Um, no, he is uh, like... Yeah, honestly. Uh, yeah, he is. Uh, I say the best. As in, he's done so much. He did so much last season. He was in a clan in Prem, and also yeah. did the most cast last season. So it shows you his work rate, you know what I mean, in terms of casts and also playing in Prem. Um, 
maintains like a darn level of drinking, which is solid. Well, you, you say that, but he doesn't actually drink on cast. So he's just like dumb but without the drink, <laughs> which is worrying. But um, no, no, no. He's, he's really good. Um, so, you know, credit to him, to be honest. And I'm glad that we have him. Um, and and I, I got to say this um, because I know he's, he's going to want to hear this from you. He's going to want to come back and watch this part just to hear this. But he didn't cast with me at I-46, and I'm still bummed out about that. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to slap him it's one. It's because got a twin, gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah. So I'll tell admirable that then. <laughs> oh no, he knows. Uh, he knows. I, oh, I like okay. to bring it up every chance I get. Okay, fine. I'll use that as a teasing bait for him every time. There you go. <laughs> James just hates gingers. I hate gingers too, except for Sal. Same. Sal, so are you really not a redhead? No, Is that... I'm a, I'm a ginger though, man. <laughs> we, we, we had a sal bear man, in the, in the so call. So should burn every ginger. Well, yeah, yeah. Before the call, actually, we were just talking. Yeah, we were just in, talking. In Steam, and I, right? He was like, he's like, no one's ever called me a ginger before you." And I was like, "Is that actually?" Well, not before you. Is DJC first? But essentially, yeah. Before I started casting TF2, like I, I just never self-identified as ginger because as I'm growing up here in Texas and wherever else, I everyone looks like you. No, I mean, no. What guys? No, it's Texas, dude. It's like 40, 50 percent Hispanic. But um, mm -hmm. but no, I did. I just never had the label ginger applied to me because we've had so many people with redder hair and more freckles than than I. Yeah, so. but by our standards, as far as people that get in front of a webcam for TF2, yeah. you're ginger as it gets. There you go. It's all right, Sal. You're beautiful, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but we don't have souls. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I don't do need one. Bugs, oh. <laughs> oh no, I don't. Oh, I don't want to get. Okay, so um, with with um, Arcs and Beta leaving and casting the same games, is there is there kind of a split in the European community between central casting hub? Because we had a problem before between um, two different casting organizations, MGE and EXTV, and we would often cast the same games and split viewership. So are they streaming on their own now, and is that a problem for you guys? You said it, you're you're happy and you're fine with it, but I know, like for me personally, if I'm casting a game and I know that. You know, a very popular casting duo is going to cast the same game. I'd be like, oh, well, I really wish they wouldn't so we could get a bigger number of viewers. <laughs> Maybe, but I mean, they'll still be they'll still be with us. Like, you know, for example, next week, uh, next Tuesday, they could be casting for Vanilla TV. But then on next Thursday, there could be another big game and we already have other casters and they'll just cast on their own station. So I'm not like the way they they, they handled it because Beta messaged me personally and told me and so on and so forth. It was, you know, it was done in a nice way and I'm, I'm not like really worried or, or scared or anything like that in that sense. They just, they just want to cast. They love casting together. So, you know, and, you know, and it'd be obviously great or greater if it was done under Vanilla TV, but obviously there are other people who are wanting to cast at the end of the day. So, mm -hmm. okay. so there's no uh, problem there. All right. Well, Sal... What do you think? You're tired as can be. I keep looking at you and just like, oh, God. Mm -hmm. um, no, it's, it's true. I, of course, as we said at the beginning of the show, I really, really, this is not exaggeration. I didn't sleep at all last night. I got home today at about 2 after telling my boss, like, look, the five-hour energy was good. You know, the double espresso was okay. I got, like, 15 minutes of work done, but I'm just, I'm toast. And she was so, like, you're uh, fired. Well, he, he was like, no, just get out of here, dude. But, but um, you know, I'll, I'll be fired tomorrow. The, uh, <laughs> he needs me to give a presentation first, and then I'll be fired. Uh, but no, that's that's essentially where I am. Is I, I am completely toast. Uh, if, if you've watched my channel enough, you you may get that reference. Um, 100 percent toast. So I I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, you know we'll get to the hat giveaways here and we'll, we'll do those. And see Bear, we we have to get our guests to have their shoutouts. Yeah. Um, this went from like Euro TF2 talk to like let's talk about controversy with BTV and all that stuff, but. Um, thanks for both you guys for coming on. I know it's really late, and especially Byte for kind of taking some shots from not just me, but some of the chat. And, and it's, it's cool. I got big yeah. shoulders. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so why don't you go ahead and give shout-outs there, Byte, if you have any that you want to um, say. Yeah, of course. Shout-outs to um, all of my Vanilla TV staff who work their ass off every day just to <laughs> provide the community um, with the coverage. Obviously, it's been it's been ramped up the past few weeks um, with just covering every day. So, um, yeah, a big thank shout out to all, them all, um, especially uh, my co, my sort of co-manager, as it were, Mr. Trail. He does a lot for me, finds a lot of uh, information and uh, inside goss, as it were, before it gets spread around or everything. So he Trill does a really good awesome job for guy, me. By the way, I met him in I-46 too. Yeah. And he was fantastic. It, 
he's a really chilled out guy, and he he has the same level of thinking um, with how to run things, which is great because that helps me a lot if I'm not around or something. So, yeah, big shout out to him, um, and uh, obviously a big shout out to um, the ETF to Well staff, um, especially uh, Sonny Black and Kenfo for me personally. Uh, I think they do wonders with uh, the league. Obviously, a lot of people would disagree, but uh, it's, I remember everything's voluntary, so they do well considering they're not getting paid or anything. Yeah. And you also stream as well. Do you want to say what your Twitch is? Uh, yeah. Watch? Trader sure, in the day I mean. when they're here in America. <laughs> what it works. Sure. It's uh, twitch.tv forward slash TCM underscore byte, B Y T E. Um, yeah. Uh, at the moment, obviously, playing for Elemental Violence this season, so I'm playing as Dower Man uh, in Division 1. So, yeah. All right, darn. Are you still awake? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm still okay. Shout-outs no. for you, my friend. Well, since this is in USA, I guess we could give a big shout-out to Satan or something. <laughs> Lucifer, the creator of all. Master. Yeah, you know, actually, if if you say things like that, you're not allowed to be president here in the United yeah. States. Yeah, as as it turns out. But but. Well, I would be I I would get shot instantly since I'm ginger. You know, we don't shoot that many gingers here. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> some some places we do. Some. You know, un unless unless they're okay. Never mind. I'm not even. I'm not gonna make that joke. I just I just remembered that I'm not that awful of a person. So, you know, I, I, we'll, just, we'll just stick with a shout out to Satan as kind of our, uh, our closing, closing line. <laughs> Unless, Darn, uh, you want to give any other info, like do you have a, a, a Twitter a stream, anything? Yeah, I do have a stream, but since everyone is streaming nowadays, I don't see the point to keep one up. Like, I would, would do just the same things that everyone else is doing. Play some public surf maps and all that boring boring stuff. Well you could you could you could be like the European version of Star, dude. You could get you know hundreds of thousands of viewers Who's, watching you like pop <coughs> on. Who's yeah. Star? Oh no, you didn't just say that. You're gonna get like angry comments now. I yeah Fox don't, even, don't even don't even stream anymore dude. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> I think you I think you gained some fans today and after people watch the VOD, so maybe you should stream and you guys can, can tune in. But uh <laughs> What what is your what is your Twitch in case they they want to see you? Uh, you don't even know. Surviving in trash. <laughs> okay. Well, is, okay, and, and finally, uh, we need one more shout out from you. Um, uh, your, what is what is your preferred liquor of the month? Uh, actually, I've been drinking white wine lately. Mm, what? Hmm. Classy. Classy, yeah. Classy. Very cheap though. Very cheap. Did not right. expect that answer. That was that's weird. Hey, right. hey, we're not, that's not weird, okay? We're not done yet, though. Sal, All you right. have to stay awake for ten more minutes. Uh, um, thanks again to our guest. It's hat time. It is hat uh, time, um, and it'll be good. So, Sal, get some sleep. Thanks to our guests. Hats. Oh. Yes, sir. Thank you. And of course, if you're watching the VOD or listening to the sound, however you have managed to obtain that, um, this has been fully charged. Tune in every Wednesday.